Today on Test Ride, we're covering a sled I am genuinely excited about, Skidoo's Renegade X 800. I'm excited about the fact that it has an 800 E-Tech mill, and it's pretty cool that it's got the all-new XS bodywork, but here's where my enthusiasm is really coming from. This sled has been knighted by the Snow Tracks and Super Tracks test riders as the best riding snowmobile in the business. That's a big statement to open a test ride with, isn't it? If we were tentative about calling the Rennie 800 the best riding sled in the biz, we probably would have left that comment until the last 30 seconds or so of this feature. Instead, we're gonna go right to the core of our rationale for this bold and quite frankly, indisputable proclamation. We've made this statement based on this reality. The 137 inch R-Motion rear skid is the bomb, the pinnacle, the highest form of the snowmobile species when it comes to ride quality on anything from sucker bumps to craters to jigglers. It's true, when the 120 inch R-Motion landed two seasons ago, it was impressive. However, the 137 R-Motion is a paradigm shifter. The Renegade 137 gobbles up trail junk like the Crocs on Swamp People consume dogs. It might be worth talking about bottomless suspension in the context of it being too mushy or raising ride height and causing CG-induced handling quirks. Honestly, this isn't part of the discussion. The R-Motion 137 resides in its longer tunnel, displaying the same precise and polite manners as the 120 incher does. The long-stroking R-Motion 137 maintains ride height at SC5 levels, but increases travel by collapsing deeper than any production skid into the Renegade's tunnel. The result, zero, zip, not a compromise to handling. Let's talk about adjustability. If our motion just delivered the best ride in the business, but was difficult or temperamental to set up, our critical test riders would not be so taken with it. That is simply not the case. These tunnel mounted adjusters make fiddling with rear arm compression dampening and rear torsion spring preload so easy, it's stupid. Before we move on to other aspects of the Renegade 800, there's one more thing we need to disclose about the Renegade's lofty command of the best ride in the business status. For sure, it's our motion loves being in a 137 Renegade. It's undeniable all 120 or 121 inch rear suspensions ride better when stretched to 136 or 137 inch status. We saw this unequivocally with the Polaris Pro Ride Switchback 136. So when it comes to our motion, the same rules apply. The mogul bridging effect of the longer 137 inch rails have taken this sled to a level of ride quality never experienced in the snowmo industry. So what engine is worthy of powering a snowmobile suspension this imposing? Clearly, Skidoo owns the most advanced two-stroke technology in the business. Therefore, the Renegade gets Rotax 800cc twin with their fuel miserly, EPA clean, E-Tech direct injection system. The 800 E-Tech is the smoothest running, easiest starting, most fuel efficient, coolest sounding, 163 horsepower two-stroke twin on planet Earth. Yes, this year Arctic Cat's 800 is faster and Polaris 800 is better on oil. However, when the entire package comes together, it's very difficult not to come to this conclusion. This is the most impressive 800 two-stroke mill in the industry. So maybe you skidoo haters are gagging at my over-the-top pronouncements on this 800 E-Tech Renegade. Well, here's something you'll enjoy. We're not nearly as excited about this sled's nervous on-center handling and heavy steering effort. There are other sleds in this segment which do these two things better. We do approve wholeheartedly of the all-new XS bodywork on the Renegade X800. The new skin displays tighter fit and finish, and just as importantly, improved function in at least three areas. First, the new body profile is warmer, even with a low windshield. Second, there's finally credible storage in a dry, easy to access spot behind the windshield. And thirdly, this new skin improves belt and clutch cooling by over 30%, channeling more air through improved clutch ducting and a new belt guard. So how does this Renegade X perform off trail? In a word, amazing, and here's why. Don't get upset at me when I say this every year, but light is right, and this 800 Renegade is a feather. With a 125 under it, it's impressive. 
With a 175 out back, it can dig a trench deep enough to lay phone cable. When it's all said and done, the Renegade X 800 E-Tech is a crossover model targeted more at trail riding and occasional off-tray forays than backcountry free riding. This version of the Renegade will deliver trail sensations completely familiar to 120 and 121 inch riders, demanding zero compromise from its pilot. The sled handles, turns in, and exits corners with nary a hint of its wearing a 137 inch shoe. What's even better is its amazing ride quality on any trail in your dreams or in your nightmares. I told you at the beginning of this test ride segment that we're convinced the Renegade 800 E-Tech with R-Motion is the bomb. It convinced us with its performance, handling, fuel efficiency, and incredible ride quality that it is at or near the very top of the 800 crossover segment. So my question for you is this, are you convinced it's the bomb?